Hello everyone, this is Jason with Inkspit Designs at inkspit.com. We're going to do a quick tutorial for you today on uh, designing for vinyl decals and for a plotter that will ultimately cut out the vinyl decal and how to do that in Illustrator. So let's go ahead and open a new document. Uh, we're going to use a print profile and let's bring some text onto the screen. Uh, and we're going to enlarge that by holding the shift key and dragging it out to make it bigger and let's use a bolder font usually when you're working with vinyl decals you want something kind of bold uh, nothing too small or skinny uh, doesn't cut very well let's go over to uh, the character panel let's make this all caps and what we're going to do is we're going to put a text effects around this um, you'll see this a lot with decals for car clubs or maybe schools um, different uh, associations, things like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the appearance panel. Uh, the appearance panel has been around since version 9 or 10 I think of Illustrator and it's probably just about the most powerful thing as far as options. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and add a fill to this. You'll see the black fill there that we have on the screen and let's add a second fill. Let's go ahead and change that to something bright just temporarily so we can see it. Um, we have an orange there and as you can see you don't see anything changed yet that's because we need to add uh, the path, the office offset path to it uh, and once we change that you'll see that it shows up because it's actually the path underneath the, the black fill uh, just extending out. And let's go ahead and change that to a round configuration now what we're going to do is we're going to even add another fill on top of that uh, let's drag that below drag it below this one and let's make that one black. We're going to do the same thing add an offset path to it uh, round and you're going to go ahead and see that show up there underneath the orange offset path and you can do that to taste to whatever you think looks the best so as you can see here now we have a, a little text effect around our text here and let's go ahead and change this orange back to a white um, because this is how we would see it. Now remember the, the font or the, the word that we typed out it's actually still in its font form so we want to go ahead and create that to outlines because that's what the vinyl cutter uh, the plotter is going to see and then from there as you can notice when I select the graphic what we have is the just the text selected and we can't select the effect that's going around, on around the outside so we, from there we go ahead and go up to uh, object and expand appearance and from there you can see every individual um, the, the effect now is individual outlines and paths itself which is what we want um, now let me point something out here when you're designing for v, uh, for decals vinyl decals the best uh, one of your favorite tools or the best things you're going to be able to do is use this outline mode and I, the shortcut key for that is control Y anything that shows up in the outline mode uh, is what is actually going to be cut by the vinyl the vinyl cutter and you get there also by going to view and outline at the top so as you can see everything's crossing each other we don't want that that's not going to work very well because it's all going to cut into each other so we're going to select the entire graphic and we're going to go over to the pathfinder down here at the bottom and the effect we want to use is merge what that does is it combines the light colors with with each other and so the blacks with the black, the white with the white, and so on and so forth. So now, if we go back to our outline mode, we can see that everything is smooth. Um, you can see where the lines will cut, and we can remove that, uh, the inner part right here, so that when we're looking at the graphic as we are right now, this white part will actually, there won't be anything there. So whatever you lay this vinyl decal onto, uh, wherever it is white, will be see-through. And so you get that, that little effect. Um, and from there you can just add all kinds of things. You can combine objects together, group them together, and um, it will do the same effect with a few minor tweaks. So that's it for today. Uh, quick little tutorial on how to add uh, an outline effect to your vinyl decals. Uh, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out at inkspit.com. Follow us on Twitter at inkspit with two T's. 
and we'll see you all next time.